My favorite part about chalk art really is being able to interact with the public and get a smile or get some emotional reaction out of them and being able to bring art to the people. Most people rarely step foot into an art museum, but chalk art, it's something that's easy and accessible to folks. My uh, adventure with chalk art began probably going on almost 20 years ago. I worked in the evenings and I was home with my daughters during the daytime. And my older daughter, JC, wanted me to start drawing princesses in the driveway and other cartoon characters. So I had to teach myself how to draw. And over time, it started to morph and I did more and more of it. My daughters got older, they got more and more demanding. And uh, almost 20 years now, I've gone from you know some of those first crude stick figures in my driveway to now being able to travel around the country and around the world creating chalk art. The biggest challenge is always rain. You know, as you're working on a piece, that's always the biggest threat is keeping an eye on the weather, keeping an eye on the skies, being prepared for it, being able to cover it up and protect it if you have to at the last minute. Sometimes you'd be working on a surface that's as smooth as glass, which comes as its own problems, and other times a, a surface that's rough and pockmarked, or you're working around potholes. So every every surface can be uh, can be challenging in and of itself. Both of my daughters now are almost 21 and almost 18 years old. They both will come and help on projects quite often. My older daughter, JC, actually has done some of her own pieces at different events and different festivals. So it's, it's another thing that's been fun is to be able to watch them grow from creating and entertaining just for them to, uh, you know, 15, 20 years later, watching them do their own thing. Chalk Art has given me an amazing opportunity to travel across the country and across the world. Last November, I had the opportunity to go to the Australia Zoo to celebrate uh, Steve Irwin Day. And so Chalk Art's really taken me to the uh, other side of the world. It, it's temporary nature of Chalk Art. It's, it's a lot like life. It's meant to be you know, enjoyed in the moment. It's, it's beautiful and messy and it's temporary, but the memories can be everlasting. Even if it's temporary, that temporary moment of getting to create joy for somebody is, is one of the best parts of it. I hear from people who say, I can barely draw a stick figure, and I, I tell them that's, that's where I started. So if you put your heart and mind and soul into, into anything, you can really accomplish it.